Hi there, Pisces. This is Kim with your next 48-hour reading. I hope you're doing extremely well. Thanks for joining me. Uh, if you are interested in a private reading, I offer those. And check out the description box below. They're not that bad of a price. They're only $16. So, let's get going. I'm going to pull a Celtic cross and we're going to use the Journey of the Sacred Bee. <clears throat> and I'll clarify with the Rider weight tarot deck. So always I like to invite your spirit team, your angels, um, spirit guides. Okay, so we can get messages that it's always made to resonate for your most high. Take it as it does. And please like and subscribe. That helps. What is up? Last reading was pretty intense. If I can can remember correctly, the last one was yeah, kind of intense. Okay, so messages to have, and I take these as all upright. Um, although I could take into consideration how they are coming out, but. Um, with this deck, I do them upright, and with these, we'll take it like I normally do it. So, wow, King of Cups and the Ten of Disc, and I just accidentally kind of pulled that off. So, that's the underlying issue. You got, um, even more underlying issues regarding wealth. Right, there I go. Yeah, I like to be able to see the pictures here. Um, <clears throat> the devil. Maybe that's why. The, maybe that's why the ten of disc was on the bottom. Because that devil energy can creep out whenever you're doing really well. Especially all things um, material, right? Nice. Nice, Pisces. Okay, two for your outcome. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so it feels like things are going to be really nice, centered, and balanced for you. Um, well, like I said with this, okay, let's start in the past. So the past has us in the priestess energy um, a really beautiful card, beautiful energy, <clears throat> has a lot of your energy in it with that card, and um, it means really being in touch with, you know, how you feel, maybe even, like, very in touch with your spiritual gifts and abilities. There's a little bit of... Um, there's a little bit of like loner um, energy here, which Pisces kind of is known for being um, not loner, but you know, having they'll be extroverted and but mainly need some time, um, definitely for quiet for themselves. So maybe this was a time for yourself here, past energy with the priestess, because now we have the devil energy with the wheel as the challenge. And the full energy or the, the journey, the full card at the heart of the matter. These are um, saying, yes, yes, we need to, we need to turn to something um, better luck, better fortune. It's time for things to start changing. Maybe like time for the gears to start changing or start turning in a different manner. Because it feels like this is almost like waiting energy. Oh, you have the moon too for your future. Jeez. I just noticed the moon came out also. That's a lot of major arcanas, guys. With the wheel as the challenge. You have the devil as the issue. The priestess and the moon. Your energy is surrounding this card. This devil card. Wow. Wow. 
it just feels like it's time for something to spin, to take a new turn. It's time for uh, a new journey. I don't know if it's like a but there's a devil energy or if it's, um, and this is the temptation that kind of comes with it. This is crazy. This reading's kind of, you got the two of cups, the love card um, as your crowning energy, crowning you. Nothing but success. Look at that. The high priestess. Nothing but success here in the environment with the king of discs. Wow. And I'm saying wow in a good way. Jeez. So your energy is super strong. Your energy is super strong. You should be able to manifest just like that right now. And that's probably part of this temptation too. <laughs> so the devil can represent sometimes, sometimes our vices and things like that. It could be representing a Capricorn. This could be Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo with the wheel. And you could, eh, I'm not even going to say that. It, it could, this could be open the full. Hmm. Is it temptation? Or is it strategic planning? Really for some, I mean, it would look like for something like this, the nine of discs to come in or a certain amount. You know what it feels like? It feels like the certain, the certain amount of money or the right amount of money comes in kind of maybe at the last minute for you here with something. All right, so the fool. Tell me more, maybe if we find out more about the heart of the matter, the fool wanting to kind of like start over actually, or take a first step. First step is always what the hardest is. Well, it's what they say. I guess it depends. That all depends, doesn't it? And there's a nine of, nine of disc, jeez. So you're really in for some kind of like um, major gain, like it says on this card. This is the nine of disc too, and you've got that card. So you're like in for some kind of major increase. This is good. This is good. I think this will allow you to rebuild on something. Also, maybe to get away. Now, this can be about kind of being really independent, self-reliant. Or this could be you really focused on this financial gain or windfall. With the two of cups crowning you, you may have like a partnership pulling some of your attention. <clears throat> Perhaps you're wanting to get away with that person with the eight of cups. So like, almost like a... A vacation or getting away um, truth clarity the justice card excuse me I hope I didn't burp like, like that loud mm. let's see what the wheel says justice the king of wands king of wands Clarifying the wheel. The king of wands usually knows um, what action to take. I'm going to say that that's probably part of the challenge is getting things action oriented and moving in a good direction. So this is coming across to me as like getting things moving. Hmm. Might be Leo energy. You have Leo, Capricorn, you have Virgo, Aries, Libra. You could have Cancer or Gemini there. Tell me more about the devil energy then. What is the devil energy about? The Ace of Pentacles. This, it feels like um, tempting. Tempting with opportunity or with money of something of some sort, but there's some kind of maybe there's a catch to it or 
there's something that this maybe even making you feel um, like a lot about a past opportunity or something like that. Tell me more about the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. It was a time of feeling out of place or like you were in a financial bind. Like the goal was to put feelings and everybody's happiness first, but it still kind of led with this hardship or going through a financial time. It could have been worry regarding money, and that could be like this big devil energy to get you thinking maybe solely about that. Look at it, two of wands, two of wands, the tower in reverse, which this keeps wanting to come out. Devil energy can sometimes stop you from rebuilding. Um, put a kink in your plans, like with the um, the money. And so you got to watch out with that. So, yeah, it's necessary. But <clears throat> so with good planning and strategy, everything ends up, I mean, this stuff ends up coming in. This seems like it was the big worry the pentacles and so like i said that's why this stuff's coming in and it may feel like something's getting better last minute but king of disc slowly but surely slow and steady wins the race goes around comes around exchanging gifts slowly but surely reciprocity is achieved Balance is achieved slowly but surely. And there's that focus and there's the strategy and there's this. I look at this also as ability. So ability to um, really visualize pretty well. So then you have the moon. I think this is you in your feelings. I think this is you open to changes. Should they happen? I mean, today starts the new moon cycle. So or phase now cycle up your right <laughs> so the the moon has some unknowns to it there's always hidden blessings within every change in our lives so it might have to do with exchanging some kind of gift or um possibly somebody tr uh, coming in like late but but there The king of disc is very successful, um, independable, just a little slower uh, at the, on speed. So the changes might involve this eight of cups and the justice card. Both being um, coming out the way that they do, I feel like it's going to be a, well, look, there you go. Either like a vacation or getting away. And the magician here, so it's like... Hang it. It's saying, yes, you can um, manifest whatever you want to manifest. And the magician definitely gives you that. Um, all of the abil abilities, but also all of the right um, things. And especially, I'm looking at that Eight of Cups. Like, if there is something that needs a setting change or something like that, or changing the, up the environment, getting away could be part of, like, the formula for success here. <clears throat> the challenge is allowing this new cycle. All right. So what you're hoping about is is the nine of disc is um, maybe something that you've created yourself. Your efforts do not go unnoticed. Um, this is also getting, you know, um, pay or getting something in return for all that you've done or for all that you efforts you've put in so far. Three of ones, nice. Ooh, Hierophant, nice, nice, nice. Hierophant used to always show up in your reading. So this is something that you've envisioned for yourself. This might have something to do with something very traditional um, or the way that, you know, the maybe even the way that legalities are or that a contract is written up so there might be changes and it's um all things that you manifested and saw coming wow 
commitment uh, on this long journey as what it's been. Uh, a commitment on this long journey and it just turned out, it looks like it worked out. It gets you away. Wow. That's what I got. That's what I got for you. Um, Pisces, I don't even have to do advice. I usually do advice like from your spirit team, you know, with the tarot afterwards, but because everybody's reading has been kind of hard. This is a really good reading. <clears throat> Time to get away and something about rebuilding for yourself. So let's pull some intuitive life coaching oracle and then it just kind of wrap up your reading. Thanks again for joining me, Pisces. Hmm. Five, awakening. You are no longer letting people dictate and run your life for you. Boundaries. Nice. You're learning the gentle art of setting boundaries and saying no. Oh, auric field. It's time to call in energy protection to shield, clear, and strengthen your aura. That's nice. 47, the universal mind. You are about to receive the solution to your problem or concern. Love that number. 12, I have surrender, release, and surrender all control and let nature take its course. 43, um, education. Education is an important part of your soul's development at this time. We'll end on seven with this. Okay, good luck. 77, generosity. Giving from your heart with no strings attached is what is needed right now. And a fairy dust says to shake it off. If you fall in others' cheer, just shake it off and walk with cheer. That's what I got for you. Pisces, sending you love and light. Bye-bye.